Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, and today we are going to be doing my monthly favorites. So let's jump right in. So first I'll start with the beauty products. First up is this rose water. I absolutely love this rose water. Um, I actually use it when I'm down at the pool or it's a really hot day. I'll just like spritz it and it's just, it's so amazing. I put it on my face, my neck. It's just straight up rose water. Second, I use this jojoba oil on my face every single day and night. This is what I use for lotion. I recently got a new toothpaste and I actually really love it. I've been really into it. It's this Himalaya Bo Botanique, Botanique, and it's the Whitening Complete Care Toothpaste. It's vegan, of course, and cruelty-free. It says it's fluoride-free, it is SLS-free, carrageenan-free, and gluten-free, and it's the Simply Peppermint flavoring, and it's really nice. So this is kind of random, but I've been dying over these chapsticks. Sprouts Vegan, the Vegan Lip Balm brand. It's awesome. There's this crazy coconut flavor, and then there is the Minty Madness, and like I said, it says the Vegan Lip Balm Sprouts brand. And it's so nice. Like, that's literally all I wear, and it feels so good. I've been really liking this eye cream. It's just something that I got at, actually, Sprouts as well, but it's not Sprouts brand. I'm not sure how to say it. It's just the S. S-I-B-U, Sea Berry Therapy Age Defying defying eye cream. Yeah, I really like it. It says, give your eyes a refreshed, radiant look with a super hydrating formula. Moisture enhancing plant extracts combined with organic sea berry oil and pumpkin seed oil. Smooth, firm, and reduce the appearance of fine lines. I use it on my eyes every uh, morning and yeah, every night too, so. I like it. So this next item is actually kind of cool because there is a girl here in town who makes these. So this is a nail polish. It's, um, I think, Juan, Juan Enamel is how you say it. And this is from her breathable selection. I'm going to pull up her Instagram account real quick and read exactly what it says. So she's a teacher here and that's pretty cool. And she says it, it's vegan. Of course, it's like why I have it. Vegan, it's the five free, you know, of the toxic um, things that are in a lot of nail polishes. And it's clean polish for all. So anyway, it's really awesome. I love it. The breathable collection, it's like your nails can still breathe through it. And yeah, I have one other color. It's like a gray color and it lasts really long. Woo, I'm sweating. So this last beauty product you probably have seen in like Kroger or anything like that. Um, but I've been using it a lot lately. It's the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution, and it's with the lavender. It smells so divine. It smells like a spa. So moving on from the beauty products, I actually have been really liking this pair of glasses. So I actually have another pair of glasses that have a prescription in them that I use for like driving at night or in the rain. Um, this doesn't have any prescription in them, but I think they're so cute. I love like the big glasses that are in style right now. Um, I'm really feeling it. I wear it often and I just feel like it adds to an outfit. The second accessory style thing that I've been loving lately, or actually I'm wearing them right now, are my Adidas sneaks. I love them. They're really comfy. They're the, let's see, the cloud foam. It says like cloud foam right there and it feels so nice. We got them in like a Myers when we were up north because we don't have them here in the south, which is a pity. My favorite cookbook lately is actually by a girl who um, is a nutritionist and she lives here in Nashville and her name is McCall Hill right there. This is her. This is her cookbook and it's plant-based, 100 whole food recipes made deliciously simple. Um, it's not all vegan. I think she does have like some eggs in there at different points. Um, but of course I just don't do those recipes or just substitute, but it's really awesome. She has amazing recipes in here and I think I'm going to start making some of like the desserts because I lack in the baking section of my cooking life. But yeah, it's awesome. You should check it out. I have been loving my Osa coffee beans. Guys, Nashville has a lot of coffee roasters, coffee shops, and Osa Coffee, immediately the first time I ever tried it, um, I was in love. I was like, what is this? Where can I get it? I want this right now. So Osa Coffee, they're amazing. They're local roasters. Adam and I just met uh, with the owner, Jack. He's an amazing, very sweet guy, and he roasts them all here in town, and yeah, it's awesome. It's so smooth. Oh, 
I just rave about it all day. My favorite food, which is kind of always my favorite snack always, super random, is seaweed. And Adam gets his hair cut in um, a place called Antioch, which has a bunch of Asian restaurants and Asian markets. And I always <laughs> stock up on seaweed. I get about 36 packs of seaweed because I go through them so quickly, you guys. Like, no joke. I'm literally obsessed. Another food favorite of the month is Beehive. Now Beehive is a local butcher shop. It's a vegan butcher shop slash deli. And every Saturday they're open, I think from, is it 11 to four or one to four? Anyway, and uh, they have sandwiches obviously that you can get just right then and there they make it for you as a deli. But you can also buy like slabs of meat and they have random things like sometimes they have ranch and like um, a, a cheese as well. And this Saturday I finally did it. I got some of the bacon and I got some of the ranch and it's so good you guys. Okay so I already like have torn this open and made some bacon. But yeah that's the packaging for the bacon and this is the ranch and it's like seriously, vegan ranch is, is a novelty. Currently, my favorite song is God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. I play that thing over and over. I love it. I'm obsessed. My current favorite YouTuber, well, I always love this YouTuber, but um, a specific video that I absolutely love and I highly recommend you watch is Carissa Puka's Her Breast Implant Illness video which of course I'll link down below. I highly recommend you watch it because pretty much all of us know somebody who's got breast implants and it's just really educational and her experience and it's just a really interesting video and, and she really did a great job editing it and putting it together and yeah. Come on in. <laughs> Hi. And my favorite person of the month. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. What have you been loving lately? Comment down below and let me know. I'd love to find out some cool things. From all you cool people, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And until next time.